Hi, it's A Bishop again. And this is Suki Love Anime again. Suffered. We're doing fav top ten favorite anime girls this time. Woo! Last time it was top at top top ten favorite anime guys. So we're doing girls this time. Okay. Not that we think they're cute, just we like them. Yeah. So we're starting off with A Bishop. Um, my first is Botan. Why my age? Or as you people don't know how to do abbreviations, it's you have to. Um, she's just cool. She's independent, and I like that in a girl. Not that I'm gay. Just saying I like it. My top, my top, my my speak. Speak. <laughs> Shut up. My number ten is Tila from Pilot Candidate, or as I would like to say, Candidate for Goddesses. It's because like she's independent of herself as well, because she can pilot the goddess by herself and she can repair it. That's about it. My number two, Miss Dow. I think I pronounced that right. Mm -hmm. If I'm not, just let me know. Um, from Roni Kenshin. She's also she's this little ninja girl that is annoying and hyper and tough and I just think she's fun. I know I look stupid. My number nine is Hanajima from Fruits Basket. It's because like she's psychic and everything and whenever somebody messes with either um Hota uh, Taru, she uses her electricity electricity to shock them. Yeah. And she has a younger brother that can actually curse people after three days when he learns their name. My number eight, Arisa, also from Fruits Basket. Again, she's just a tough girl, and I love it, and I want to be like her. I tried to cut my hair like her, and it didn't come out too well. But, whatever. My number eight is Yukino from Ka Karekano, or as American, is his and her circumstances. Why? It's because at first you see her like as all like snooty and everything, and she wants to get attention from everybody. Sorry. What's that? Okay. And um, she's really independent of herself, and like she pretends to be all good, but in real in reality, she get, she actually works harder than anybody to get to that grade that she actually has, or want to get. My number seven, Sango and Kilala. I actually just like Kilala, but I can't just say that because she's a cat type thing, fox, I don't know. Um, but she's adorable, and Sango's cool, but Kilala is definitely the best. I should put Shirley. I'm retarded. Anyway, uh, Sango is the best. But Kilala rocks the house. My number seven is Haruhi Fuji Fujiyoko. I think that's the right pronunciation for her last name. Yeah, it's it's up here. But yeah, <laughs> she's really like she's not that naive, but like because she's never been in like in love with another guy. Because like she's going to like this really big school that's like all for riches, but like. I think I think it's like because she wants to get into a really big, really good school to become like her mother cool. in the anime. Ah, well, number six, Shizuru Kazuma. And how is she cool, our sister? I don't know, but she she reminds, kind of reminds me of my mom. Um, but better. No offense, mom. I love you, but I love Shizuru. She's cares a lot about her brother, and it's sweet. My number six is Saya from Blood Plus, because, um, she actually kicks ass. Let me make the picture bigger. Hello? She actually kicks ass. I'm totally serious about this. If you've seen the anime, you'd know. And that's about it I can say about her. My number five, Princess I. She's not really an anime character, but we also think, like, mangas are actually from anime, so we're just gonna make her as an anime. I think she's awesome. She's got great taste in music. She's got great taste in clothes. Um, good choice in men. Give her that much. But, I wish she was an anime. I'd probably like it more. My number five is Nana Osaki. 
Osaki, I think that's how you say her name, because, um, she doesn't have a last name up there, but, um, she's a really good singer in the anime, and she has, like, really great clothes. I love her clothes, her clothes. Her clothes. Okay. and I love her hair, and her loyalty to her boyfriend, Ren, is, like, so amazing. It's not, it doesn't even compare to the boyfriends that I've had in my years. <laughs> um, number four, Shelly Pluto. I don't know how to pronounce her Japanese name. I know how to pronounce her first, the first part of her Japanese name, is it Seda? But, I don't know why I like her so much. It, there's something about her that I love. Um, I, I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> I just love her. My number four is Carly! Everyone loves Carly. Wait, let me make it bigger. Everyone loves Carly. Yes, they do. Carly is so cute, and without her glasses, she is gorgeous. She's so gorgeous even with the glasses. True. Jack has good taste. Yes, he does. And if he were to marry Carly, we... We approve! approve. <laughs> My number three. My Valentine. Okay, well, I am kind of on the fence with her, because in the first season, she was kind of a bitch. <laughs> and I didn't really like her much, but she's tough. She's a girl that can sting a woman. Sorry, I want to say she's in her 20s. Um, which is wrong. The fact that she likes a 16-year-old boy. Little bitch. <laughs> I love her. But, um, I shouldn't be talking. I'm kidding. But, yeah. My, my top three for the top top ten favorite anime girls is Aki Izayoi. Very beautiful 5Ds character. Yes. She's the most beautiful besides Misty. Carly is the most beautiful to me. Aki's the most beautiful to me. I have a thing for girls in glasses. I don't know. Sure. Aki is like, she is like independent of herself. Even though she was with Divine and it blah, 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 blah. She hates Divine, so she gets sick of saying his name. Um. Sorry. When you say, when she says Divine, she gets a baby barf. Okay. Sorry. Everyone hates Divine. Yeah. And number two. Guess who's back? It's Kylie! I love her so much. The little glasses. I love them. Uh, her hair looks black, I know, right? It's actually green. To all those people who don't know, it's actually a very deep green. Yes. And um, it looks black, so I mean, people can easily mistake it for black. But it's definitely green. But I don't care, she's cool. My number two, and guess, guess who's back? back? My Valentine! The reason why I like Mai is because she is The really boobies, right? <laughs> I'm not that pedophile. But whatever. Perverted. Perverted, whatever. I, sorry, I'm a Birch fan. I'm a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Birch fan, and I had to quote Joey a second. Sorry. Um, why I like Mai is because she's also independent of herself, and she's really, really pretty, and everything. Look at those pretty eyes. I know you can't see. Yeah. So. My number one, and the coolest coolest anime girl, in my opinion, of all time, is Blue from Wolf Rain. Yes, yeah, she's part dog. Yes, yeah, she's part wolf. I don't care. I think she's awesome. Um, I actually fell in love with her when I found out she was part wolf. Because in the beginning, I thought she was mean. I was like, what a mean, nasty dog. <laughs> Why is there a dog in this show? What does she have to do with anything? And then when she turned out she was a wolf, and then I watched it a couple more times, I was like, oh. She's cool, and I kind of, I don't know, have a little female crush on her, even though I'm totally straight. I think she's awesome. My number one is Rebecca Hawkins. At first, I didn't like her because she was, like, in love with Yugi and everything. That possessed bear. <laughs> the possessed bear from a British series. Dude, it was funny. Okay. I should kill your mother. <laughs> your mother plays card ga children card games in hell. Yes. yes. Okay. And in the first season, I didn't. And when she came in, I didn't like her. But when she came back in the Doma series, she was she was actually cool and everything because she can hack. So that's about it. Bye. Bye.